Hello, I'm Mark Buckwell and I'm studying failure propagation in high energy lithium ion batteries. I work as part of a team predominantly based at the Electrochemical Innovation Lab at University College London. Lithium ion batteries are a useful step towards decarbonisation, providing a great source of power, whether for small appliances such as laptops and phones or bigger things such as electric vehicles. But they can fail and although rare, failure can be catastrophic, leading to fires and explosions. This poses a significant risk, not only to the appliance, but to the user. Our work focuses on understanding failure through simulations, both physical and computational. With physical simulations, we can abuse real cells, driving them into failure through thermal runaway. With computational simulations, we can build structures to test against our physical observations, to see whether we can unpick the processes that we measure. We're interested in working out what the precursors are to failure and how these processes develop not only within the cell, but also their propagation to neighboring cells and devices. We can then start to understand the implications for users, in particular for mission critical applications, such as life support and navigation. This will allow us to develop strategies to mitigate these risks, making lithium ion batteries safer to use, particularly as they're increasingly adopted into our technologies. One way we can study cells is by probing the internal structure and its degradation as a result of normal operation and abuse testing across a range of scales. We can look at the entire cell to find out what it looks like at the start of its life and how the internal structure degrades over time, including the gases released as material is lost. We can also go down to the scale of electrode particles to assess changes in their structure, distribution and composition. So through a variety of structural and chemical analyses, we can get clues as to the electrochemical processes occurring and correlate these with known operations in the life of the cell. To track the kinetics of failure, we take an image processing approach to analyzing X-ray videography data. This gives us an automated way to study failure, so we can work quickly with large data sets to produce quantitative information. We firstly identify and track the internal structure over time. Then we convert this temporal information into a map of the whole failure. This allows us to identify the propagation of distinct processes. We can then extract the velocity, acceleration and origin of processes such as electrode delamination and destruction. So with our toolbox, we can start trying to piece together a full picture of cell failure. We can probe the electrochemistry to determine the correlation between structural and compositional changes. We can also track and quantify the failure kinetics, informing us on how events propagate within a cell. We can then bring our observations together as modeling parameters, allowing us to determine how failure nucleates within a cell and what the precursors might be. This will allow us to more broadly understand the implications of failure in different applications of lithium ion batteries, as well as guiding engineering solutions to try and mitigate the risks to both cells and users. Thank you for listening.